it's always difficult pre-season um, and a new coach coming in uh, with new ideas, possibly, um, with uh, new standards, you know, there's certain things that I want players to do. And um, it takes a, a few weeks, possibly for uh, the players to understand and for me to obviously get across the message. But um, I've got a fantastic group of, of boys. Sometimes um, it takes a few weeks for us to get uh, a good understanding on the training field, but um, I'm working with a fantastic group of players. Uh, really been uh, working hard, um, taking on board what we're trying to get across to them. And generally it's, um, it's been a very good pre-season, but of course results pre-season don't really mean a great deal. Um, whether you win, lose or draw, uh, I, I learn a, a lot from it. I learn a lot from the matches that we played in. So uh, from that point of view, it's been uh, it's been a really good uh, six or seven weeks. Um, but obviously, it all starts on Sunday, and that's when it really matters. Put in um, obviously when you bring in foreigners, um, the domestic players will always look at the foreigners, foreigners that have played at a very high level of, of football in Europe. And the domestic players always look up to the foreign players and uh, they need some guidance, you know, from the senior players. But I've got players here that, um, the likes of Sereno and Melson, uh, they are champions themselves, you know, they've won the league here, they've won the league in ISIL. So uh, my domestic players, and we've got a lot of young players here in Chennai, and as you know, they look up to these guys and they're looking to learn every day. And... Um, we had, as, as I said earlier, we had four players uh, represented our country uh, on Wednesday night. We had four Chennai players in there, by far the most players of, of any ISIL club. And in fact, it might actually be a record. I'm not too sure whether or not one club has provided four players for the national team. Um, <clears throat> so we're very proud of that and very proud of, of the young players that we have here. And um, they've gelled very well uh, with the senior players, with the foreign players that we brought in. And there's a really good balance, and um, obviously you've got Bodo in there as well, uh, who, who's like, uh, he's the size of a baby, but he's, uh, he has the fire of a tiger. Um, he's come into the squad, so uh, he gets on with the senior guys, with the domestic players, uh, with the foreign players, probably as well as, as any of our Indian boys. So um, training's been great. Uh, the, the camaraderie between the whole squad has been really good too. You're okay? Okay. Yes, last season was a, was a bad season for our club, but um, we'd set such high standards in the first and second years that last year was uh, extremely disappointing for our club to finish in seventh position. But, uh, you know, I've always said I'm following a, I'm following a legend here, which is, which is not easy for me. It's, um, it's a real tough act to follow, the fact that uh, Marco uh, <coughs> actually finished first in the in the first season and uh, second season got to the final and won the final so uh, last year was a big disappointment for us and we'll certainly be wanting to do better this year for the fans if they turn out in the numbers that they've turned out for the first three years we'll be very very happy uh, I think you'll find that our fans are slightly different than the rest of the country in as much as they they will support their team through thick and thin and and even though we had uh, a poor season last year, we finished seventh. Uh, the fans were still there. They were still there at the home games, still supporting the blue shirts. And um, we, have, we start off with two home games, so I hope we can reward our fans with, uh, with six points after the first two games. Uh, well, with everybody, you know, I, I have, uh, as you saw today, I've got a 25-man squad. I will not play the same team this season uh, for 18 matches. There's just no way that it will be the same team every week. Um, obviously, there's a, a nucleus of players that will probably play a lot of games this year, but everybody's important. And certainly with, with Ganesh, he's, uh, he's a local boy, he's a Chennai boy. Um, we want him to get himself in the team. Narishka, can you please move from there? The light is going off every time. <laughs> is that okay? Um, Ganesh is like any member of my 25-man squad. Um, he has to fight for a place in the team. Uh, we have uh, 18 ISIL games this season in the league. In the regular season, there's 18 games. 
and I will not play the same team for 18 games. There will be changes, things will, things will happen. I'm sure that we'll have injuries. I hope we don't have suspensions, but that comes into the equation as well. Um, and if you don't start in the, in the first 11, you might be in the second 11, you might be in the third match, you might be in the fourth match. You, you just need to be ready when your chance comes along. And uh, we, have, we have a saying that I've had uh, throughout my career, uh, don't tell me how good you are, show me how good you are. Uh, it's down to the players to show me that they deserve a place in, in the lineup. And uh, in, in the case of Ganesh, uh, always we, we love to see our local boys playing for the local team. Uh, it's up to him, it's down to him to show me that he can uh, uh, get in the team and deserve a place in the team. Uh, John, uh, you had a look at the Marina Arena yesterday. Mm. Uh, three months ago it looked completely different. <laughs> and yesterday it looked a proper football pitch, ready for Sunday. Your thoughts on the stadium? Yeah, if you were to see the, the pitch that I saw about three months ago, um, I was shocked, uh, to say the least. And um, I didn't think it, it could actually um, change by the time we started. You know, we're now looking uh, November the 19th. I never, ever thought that I'd see the pitch in such fantastic condition. But we went down there last night. We put on the lights. Um, it was pretty dark. I think it was about 7 o'clock by the time we got there. And uh, it looked really amazing. The pitch itself looks incredible. Um, so I'm, I'm delighted that it's in that kind of shape. The players themselves walked on the pitch. They came with us and we had a good look around the stadium. And I say with the lights on, it looked, it looked beautiful. The, the grass has been cut. And um, the players really got excited, very, very excited to see the condition of the pitch. And uh, I've got a lot of footballers in my team. You'll, uh, s you'll see from the way that we play, I think a lot of the time the ball will be, s the ball will be on the grass, it will be on the floor. Uh, <coughs> we're, not, uh, we're not the average uh, Englishman's team where the ball might go from back to front pretty quick and, uh, and off the floor. We like to play football. And uh, with the players that I've got, we have to play that way. So they were delighted with the condition of the pitch. And um, as I said, on Sunday night, we'll find out just how good we are. Any other questions, Arun? One last question. Uh, finally, how, uh, overall, how well the team composition has came up and how hopeful you are about this team? Well, well I've, I mean, I've said it before. I've got on record as saying that there's, there's 10 coaches, 10 head coaches that are all going into this season, this weekend, um, hoping that uh, they're going to win the championship, that they're going to be champions, they're going to win the playoff final on March the 17th, 2018. We're all uh, hoping that it's going to be us that's going to be there. There's going to be eight of us that are going to be disappointed because we're not in the final. Um, and there's obviously going to be uh, only one winner at the end of the season. I've got to make sure that it's, uh, that it's us. Um, we're all very hopeful.